How do you balance your work life? This is a really common question that people receive all the time. Those who asked, maybe your friend, your longtime classmate, your colleagues, your students, or even your boss. So how will you answer? Let hear the answer from one of the richest person on earth. I have too much work on my plate, that is for sure. I'm really working at the absolute most amount that I can work from morning till night, seven days a week. Um, so this is not something I'd recommend, frankly. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Elon gave his answer, but he still not recommend people do the way he does. Because he knows the answer is varies and complicated. Maintaining a healthy work-life balance is essential for both mental and physical well-being. If you have signs or symptoms of burnout, stress, unhappy. Feeling life is tasteless. Have strained conversation with your friends and family. There may be a high chance that you are having problems with work-life balance. That could lead to poor sleep quality, unhealthy eating habits and a lack of exercise, all of which can negatively impact in your physical health. Or worse, your mental. With the feelings of isolation and loneliness. So, the important question is, how should you balance your work life? The answers is at the end of this video. But first let's listen to an old Asian sayings. If you want to clean weed, you must pull out its roots. Zhan Chao Chu Jian in Chinese, or no ko tan ga in Vietnamese. I believe that only watching the full video that will help you have the full understanding of the solutions and know how to do it at your best. Furthermore, you can help your beloved ones balance their work life too. Surprisingly, Asian people has known the answers and practices it in their lives for centuries. It is all in the yin yang theory. In this video, you will have an in-depth understand about Yin Yang concept Yin Yang theory Real life applications Part 1, Yin Yang concept Yin, Yang is a philosophical category. The two sides of Yin and Yang are united, like the two side of a coin. So, anything in the world can be divided into the two sides of Yin and Yang. For example a book, the front side is yang, the back side is yin. The outside of the book is yang, the inside is yin. If you open the book, the inner page receives light is yang, the front and back becomes yin. Just like the human body, identifying yin or yang could comes from distinguishing properties, male is yang, female is yin. It comes from the distinction on the body, the upper half is yang, the lower half is yin. The outside body parts is yang, the inside parts is yin. Back is yang, belly is yin. Flesh, bone reciprocal, bone is yin, flesh is yang. Qi, blood reciprocal, blood is yin, qi is yang, qi is the controller of blood, promoting blood circulation. Skin, flesh reciprocal, skin is yang, flesh is yin. Fur, skin reciprocal, skin is yin, fur is yang. If the skin doesn't exist, the hair won't grow. In the same way, we rely on the status quo of an object to figure out which is yin or yang. In temperature. For example, cold and hot, then the cold-hot pair is the basis for further reasoning. As for the direction, north region is cold, so it belongs to yin, and south region is hot, so it belongs to yang. For the weather, winter is cold, so it belongs to yin, summer is hot, so it belongs to yang. In terms of form, soft and flexible things like rivers belong to yin, and hard objects like mountains belong to yang. About time, night is cold, so it belongs to yin, daytime is hot, so it belongs to yang. If you continue to deduce, then, that night is dark, so dark belongs to yin, daytime is light, so light belongs to yang. 
Black is dark color, so black belongs to yin. Red or white is light color, so they belongs to yang when they stand beside black. Let's discuss in a deeper level. From the mother and father pair, female and male, it can be inferred that females have the ability to become pregnant, one body but two people, so in terms of numbers, the even numbers are yin. Males do not have that ability, one man is just himself, so the odd numbers are yang. This explains why the yang symbol is one long line, and the yin symbol is two short lines. Take a look at the square, a stable shape, its one side divides perimeter ratio is 1 to 4, the number 4 is even, that's why the square is yin. On the other side, the unstable, dynamic sphere, its diameter divides perimeter is 1, pi close to 3, the number 3 is odd, so the sphere is yang. There is an ancient Vietnamese folktale called Bon Chung, Bon Day, that you will find relevant to this article. During the Hong Ban era, 2879 to 258 BCE or the Bronze Age, the sixth Hong King sought an heir and organized a cooking competition for his sons. While the other princes searched for extravagant dishes, the 18th son, Lang Lu, who could not afford expensive ingredients, dreamt of a deity who instructed him to create meaningful dishes from daily ingredients. Inspired, Lang Lu made Ban Cheng, a square-shaped dish symbolizing the earth, and Ban Dei, a round-shaped dish representing the sky. When he presented them to his father, the king was impressed by their taste and symbolism. As a result, Lang Lu was chosen as the new king, and Ban Cheng became a traditional dish for the Vietnamese Lunar New Year. Listening to this folktale, you now know where the term Mother Earth comes from. The whole term must be Father Heaven or Father Sky, Mother Earth. Check out the symbol of heaven and earth and their opposition on the Bagua map in my first video, The Origin of Yin Yang, Five Elements and Bagua. In general, Yin or Yin energy represents cold energy, woman, night, darkness, moon, flexible, quiet, nurturing, harmonious, accepting, passive, thinking. But too much of it will turn into gloom, sadness, laziness. Yang or yang energy again represents hot energy, daytime, light, sun, such as enthusiasm, joy, excitement, strength, expression, initiative, action. But too much of it will turn into foolishness, unweighed action, patriarchy, arrogant, boastful. All peoples in the world have opposite categories, languages of all ethnic groups have antonyms. However, Pairs of opposites are not the main content of the theory of yin and yang. Let's dive into next part. Part 2, Yin-Yang Theory Lao Tzu, 600-501 BCE, is a Chinese Taoist philosopher. His notable work is, Tao Te Ching. In chapter 42, he wrote, Everything carries yin and embraces yang. The mixing of yin and yang becomes an entity. The most iconic symbol of yin yang theory is Tai G2. This is what Tai G2 looks like today. But it doesn't exist like that from the beginning. The first Tai G2 concept is from Hatu diagram. It developed through time, take a look at its transformation. Noticeably, in 1599, based on Hatu diagram, Lai Ji De connects the white dots together, the same with black dots. He called it Taiji River Diagram. It is the bridge that gaps her two diagram to today's Taiji 2. I must say that the modern Taiji 2 reflects all of Yin Yang theory. It is a perfect, balanced symbol, simple yet very profound, clearly and fully describing the Yin Yang theory. First component, in each whole, circle, there are always two opposites, Yin and Yang, mutually supporting each other and compensating each other to form a complete entity. Second component, in yin there is yang and vice versa, in this color part there is another color dot. Third component, when yang rises, yin falls, when yin dominates, yang subsides and vice versa, one color part gets bigger, the other part gets smaller. Fourth component, when one reaches its peak, it must declines, 
when one part reaches its maximum form, the opposing element develops inside it gradually. The ancients believed that at true nature of everything, there are two opposite sides, yin and yang, coexists. However, in yang there is yin, in yin there is yang. The reason it is called yin, because yin dominates yang inside this object. The two factors yin and yang always move and transform into each other. Yin and yang always relies on each other, mutually supporting each other to form a complete entity. No individual or entity can exist that is just based solely by yin or yang. Because if there is only yang or yin alone, it won't be stable for long. If one side is lost, the other side will also be destroyed. Yang death is yin extinction. Imbalance of yin and yang creates turmoil, this is true in all situations. That is what distinguishes yin and yang philosophy from other philosophies. Part 3 Real Life Applications I will tell you another folktale story, reflect how wise ancients Chinese influenced by yin yang theory. It is called, Sai Wen Shi Ma, Sai Wang lost his horse or, a blessing is disguise. A long, long time ago, there was a kind old man called Sai Wang who lived on the plains outside the Great Wall of China. The gentle old man had only two passions in his life, collecting rare breeds of horses, and his son. They would travel far to trade horses, meet new people, and enjoy the days. One morning, a servant left the stable door open and the old man's favorite stallion escaped and could not be found. When the neighbors heard the news, they came to comfort the old man. But the old man was not upset. My horse has run away, but maybe this is a good thing, said the old man. One week later, the stallion came back, and he brought with him a mare. This was not just any mare, but a rare and valuable white mare. This time, the neighbor quickly came to congratulate him, and expressed admiration for his correct prediction. But the old man was not excited. Getting this fine mare for nothing, but maybe this is not a good thing, said the old man. A short time later, while his son was riding the white mare, the horse slipped and fell onto his leg, the son's leg was broken and he would live rest of his life with a limp. Again, the neighbors came to the old man's house to give their sympathy for the bad luck. However, the old man was not upset at all. My son broke his leg, but maybe it is a good thing, replied the old man. At this point, the neighbors thought to themselves, what is good about breaking their legs, the old man must lost his mind and decided to leave him alone. Two years later the barbarians invaded the old man country, and all of the old man's neighbors were forced to join the army. Because the old man's son could only walk on one leg, he were not enlisted to the army. The war was very fierce and lasting, most of the old man's neighbors were killed, but his son was spared, that broken leg actually saved his life. At this time, the neighbors knew that the words Sai Wang had said at the beginning were actually really wise. Let's head back to the question in the beginning of this video. How should you balance your life work? Lao Tzu said, luck is the hidden in misfortune, misfortune is the backbone of luck. You can see that, everything is connected, even the most unpredicted things like luck and misfortune. So does your work and life balance. Let's apply yin yang theory into your work life problem, you are the entity. In fourth component, when work reaches its peak, it must declines and vice versa. In third component, when work rises, life falls, when life dominates, work subsides and vice versa, but the work will develops inside it gradually. If you are a workaholic, your work part is okay but your life part, time spending with family, wife, son and daughter are gone, no more talking, playing together could lead to arguings, angers, or sadness. Then you would have no interests in working anymore, even if you are successful and earn a lot of money, it has no meaning then because you no longer have your beloved ones cherished together with you, this is when work reaches its peak. So you will tend to spend time fixing it, find your family back but because your work life is so imbalanced so it will need lots of time and efforts, as you have to replan your work part to equalize it. 
you risk trading present moments for future scenario. At worst case, failing at your work, you will have no one there to help you climb out of the pit of failure. On the other side, if you are a person following, you only live once, lifestyle, you spend all time playing and no work. At the beginning, everything seems happy and flashy because you still have money and youth. But if you don't work, don't have plans to support your spending, this kind of lifestyle will not last long. You risk trading future resources for present temporary happiness. Sooner or later you will find lifestyle is no longer excites you anymore. Now you stay at the crossroad of life, one leads to further mistakes and your your health and mind will be destroyed heavily, one leads to way home, but it is the longer and harder road. Knowing the consequences of not balancing. Now we must chase the real solutions, they are also in the yin yang theory. First component, work and life mutually supporting each other and compensating each other to form a happy man. Second component, in work there is life and vice versa. While at work, concentrate on your work but don't ignore your family. Put your family picture on the working desk, write down things like birthday, anniversary, your kids play, what your wife or husband favorite gift, in the calendar and check it every day. Note that they want nothing from you, except your love. If they text or call you, listen to what your wife or husband says, answer with caring, with that minimal effort, you will achieve happiness. When you are at home, remember it is time for your family, don't let the work part dominates, remember it work is a tiny dot, don't let it grow and turn into bigger troubles. Like work, family activities need to be planned, like taking kid back from school, playing in the park, dinner time. By these solutions, you will gradually find out your Goldilocks work-life balance. Only you know the just right recipe. Not only work-life balancing, you could apply yin yang theory to all aspects of life, like the ways Asians has been doing it for centuries. Here are the examples. In feng shui, a good house must have proper sunlight and shade, and balance between house area and the number of people living in it, or it will be too small of too large that affects daily habits. The golden rule is, sum of all members living in house ages, multiply 1.1 equals, the proper area for that family. In Chinese medicine theory, disease occurs when yin and yang is out of balance. When a woman's body after giving birth has too much, cold, yin, it is necessary to add, hot, yang herbs to replenish blood and qi. If the patient is hot, yang, cool medicine, yin, will be given to calm it down. In Vietnamese cuisine, in the hot summer, yang, people drink sugar cane juice, yin. In the cold winter, yin, they tend to drink hot ginger tea, yang. In Chinese martial arts, left-handed techniques are considered yin, while right-handed techniques are considered yang. Using the right yin and yang techniques at the right time can help the fighter win the battle. In the decorative arts, right tranquility and excitement boost the house owner energy, giving him or her a peaceful feeling, some decorations even boost career and luck. In business, it is in the balance between risk and opportunity. In investing, it is important to recognize the status of the economy period, bull or bear market to make a proper move. In spirituality, it is about the openness and privacy. For example, in the Buddhist faith, it is necessary to find a balance between keeping the rules without being too rigid. Western culture often places a strong emphasis on logic, action and tangible values, yang. In contrast, Eastern culture tends to prioritize emotions, inside spiritual growth and intangible values, yin. In nearby decades, Eastern countries learned and grew with an extremely fast speed because they learn what they lack of from Western countries. They have achieved great success when still keeping the strength of their culture. Western countries, on the other hand, are feeling lagged behind and their society somehow saturated or overheat, with yang dominates so much. It is time to learn something about Asia and their philosophy. Incorporating elements of mindfulness, meditation, and self-reflection into daily life can help people develop a better understanding of their own emotions, enhance their relationships, having greater creations and harmony in all aspects.
Let me know what you think about work-life balance, share your story or any difficulties you find in your life. I will surely check it out. Hit like and follow this channel to join my journey to explore the Far East mysterious culture. It will be really interesting. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.